Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to use a violet laser to draw in water. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is stannous chloride, also known as tin chloride. I'm using 12 molar hydrochloric acid, a dropper, a spoon. This is methylene blue, two graduated cylinders with 50 milliliters of distilled water, and this is a violet laser. The first step is to add one drop of your methylene blue to 50 milliliters of distilled water. The next step is to measure out about half a gram of stannous chloride. Next, add half a gram of stannous chloride that you measured out to your second graduated cylinder of 50 milliliters of distilled water. You'll notice that it turns to a milky solution. I'm just gonna add a drop of hydrochloric acid to clear that up and to dissolve the tin crystals. And that will start to dissolve the tin crystals and clear our solution. You can already start seeing this clearing up pretty quickly. Okay, now you're ready to pour your solution of stannous chloride into your solution with the methylene blue. Okay, once your solution is completely clear, you're ready to draw in the water with your violet laser. I'm gonna do this with a white background so you can see clearly the line that's drawn with the laser. Check this out. All right, here we go. Check this out. I'm gonna turn off the laser. What? Look at that. You can see a line in the water. Let's do another one. Two lines. Isn't that amazing? You can actually see lines that are drawn with the laser. and it literally stays in the water. Just amazing. Look at that. So this is a reduction oxidation reaction between the tin ions and the methylene blue. So when methylene blue donates electrons to the tin ions, it becomes blue. And during reduction, when it gains those electrons back, it turns clear. Now what's neat about this reaction is that you can add activation energy with a 405 nanometer laser, a violet laser. And wherever you shine that laser, that oxidizes the methylene blue to turn it blue again. But this only works for a little while because then it wears off, the methylene blue is reduced as it gains those electrons back and it turns clear again in this awesome reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.